Morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Suffer Alliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And I came out here today with Jeep, and I thought what I'd do is I'd go over the cook kit or the pots and pans, the mess kit, if you will, the chuck box that I keep here in the Jeep with me when I'm traveling, when I'm camping, and things like that. It's developed over time. It's the same one that I use if I'm taking like the side-by-side -side or something. I take that chuck box, go right into that side-by-side -side for more than one person camping at a time. So let's say multi-person cook kit based on two people. So me and my wife, me and a buddy, something like that, going on a fishing trip, going on a camp overnight. That's what this kit's based on. So when you look at it, think about that. But I think I've got all the bases covered. It works really, really well for me the way it's set up. And I've got it stored in a nice little box. So I want to go over that with you guys today. Stay with me. Okay, so this is just a Plano automotive crate. You can buy this off Amazon, but I find that it is the perfect fit for all of my cooking accessories for a multi-day camp with more than one person. So here you can see I've got the top of the crate open, and you can see how everything stores inside. So we'll kind of pull these guts out of here and talk about it a little bit of a time. It's all based on basically Pathfinder stainless steel, obviously. The first thing I've got in this box, I've got some utensils for cooking. I've got four utensils that pretty much do anything I need. I have a serving spoon, a spatula, a pair of tongs, and a whisk. All of these will do everything that I need in camp while I'm cooking. Now, I've got two racks on the top of this. One rack is for the skillet. One rack is for the bush pot so that I can also bake if I want to, and this will allow me to braise in the skillet or steam. Okay, in the very front of this box, there's a rag, this rag. There is a small bottle of olive oil for cooking. There's one water bottle. That's just mainly for adding water to things while I'm cooking. One French press, and I've got the guts removed from this French press and stowed so that I can actually store an extra cup lid in here, two tumblers, and inside the tumblers I've got some spices. So I've got two full tumblers in here and a cup, a spare lid inside the coffee pot and the coffee pot itself. I have another Pathfinder cup here inside my pots and inside that, I keep an old ice cream bucket here full of instant coffees, Copeka coffees. It slides right down inside there, perfect. So we've always got coffee on the fly, all we need is hot water. There are two bowls inside the two quart bush pot. A two quart bush pot. Inside the three quart bush pot are two plates. And then you have a three-quart bush pot. At the bottom, you have a skillet. Inside that skillet is a rack. And I misspoke a minute ago because this rack is a smaller rack that I use on top of this as a steaming rack. It can also be used to make toast. Inside this skillet, besides the rack, I have two sets of Pathfinder utensils. There's enough utensils there, obviously, for, again, two people. And everything stows just like this inside. And that can go in the bottom of that crate, and the bush pot sits on top of that. On the side of that skillet, there is a skillet lid, a three-quart bush pot lid, a two-quart bush pot lid, and a cutting board. That's all that's inside this box, but with that... I can cook just about anything I want to cook very, very easily. All right, so as you can see, we've got the lid for the skillet and the bush pot standing up on the side and a cutting board, and we've got the skillet in the bottom with the utensil stowed underneath the rack. Then we put in our three-quart bush pot, turn it to the side. I like to turn the bale on that to this side to give me room over here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Two plates go inside that bush pot. Two quart bush pot sits down inside of that with the two bowls. Inside the two bowls goes the cup that we had that had our coffee in it, just like that. 
We have our coffee pot with another cup stowed inside and lid that goes in the front, just like this. And we have a water bottle that goes in front, just like that. We stow both of our racks on the very top of everything. Utensils sit right down the side here, just like this. Put one bottle of oil here. Stuff a dish rag in, just like that. Close it up, and that is our entire kit ready to go. Now, we could use this tub emptied out to do dishes in, but I carry a breakdown collapsible tub in here for that purpose. So where I store this generally is in this tote right here. I've got a 10 pound tank of propane in there, a folding, large folding grill, and this chuck box. I'll sit down inside this, keeps everything from rattling around. And generally I'll take one of my blankets and stuff it down inside here just to keep this from moving around, just like this, one of my overquilts. A camp accessory box here that I put in. And I'm locking, loaded, and ready to go. All right, guys, well, listen, I appreciate you joining me out here today for this quick video on cook accessories, cook kit, chuck box that I keep inside the Jeep. I thought it was something that y'all might be interested in. It's built off Pathfinder stainless steel, but it shows the nesting capabilities in a small box to carry lots and lots of cookware for a two-person camp if you're vehicle camping or you have conveyance like a canoe or side-by-side -side or something like that. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.